Welcome to CSL Midwest Qualifier here on Melee every day. If you'd like to watch some Smash 4 action, please tune to CSL 2. Is it CS? Is it C Star League 2? Is it C Star League 2? The C stands for college, not see ya. What's up, Forrest? Hello. I lost, I lost on stream to Q, and that was uh, sad, but now we're watching Fox Faster Lord English. Tell me about. Fox Capacitor or Lord English? The, co I, I, the Cox Capacitor? Co Cox Capacitor, yeah. Um, he's. Um, he's probably like. Because, like. Capacitor is, yeah. is a. In Champagne, for the past <laughs> for the past few weeks, um, it's been basically just all Foxes, top four. It's Chabs. Um, Chabs, Zamu, Pierre Z, and uh, Fox Capacitor. I think Pierre Z doesn't go to too many nowadays because he's too busy with school and girlfriend. Um, Pretty right, Zer. I don't know if PRZ really stands for, but I was trying to stretch it. I think I think the origin original tag was zero PRZ because like when he first picked up the game, he played double with his friend, and he would just hit everybody on the screen, and then his friend would yell, "Oh my god, this guy's taking zero prisoners!" And so like, because everyone wanted a four-letter tag because that's the cool thing yeah, to do. Yeah, exactly. Um, who could on that up there? He should be zero PRZ. Yeah, but then I don't know. It's actually dead presidents is what he wants. Dead presidents. <laughs> He's thinking about that money. Um, Lord English is a really good puff from Wisconsin. If I um, his alternate tag is XXX Sniper Wolf Triple Sixty Nine. Yeah, I think I remember him entering GHQ with that, and he like he like beat Yuck and O'Reilly or something. I can't remember exactly that bracket. He's a genius. He did he did really well that bracket. Um, He's doing really well right now. Right. He's got to make this comeback. Yeah, we don't have too many puffs in Champagne, um, but I think I think because Shabo is like so good with, against Puff. Um, you all learn naturally. It's kind of like, yeah, sort of. I guess the foxes, at least. I think the foxes are pretty good, just because, like, oh. He has that natural ability. That falling upper right there was one of the ways that other characters just can't fall on top of Jigglypuff with the kill move. Right. Even Sheik has trouble doing something like that. She has to, like, kind of slap or be right on top yeah, of Yeah, yeah, just like. Exactly. So that Ooh. falling hitbox is, is money there. And we got one more chance. We're fighting Super Mr. Oh, no, that's Lord English. They came together. Yeah, I think they're uh, on the Wisconsin crew. They are. Wisconsin Madison crew. Yeah. This right. guy did up B in the middle of the stage. Probably shot out of shield. Because it was out of shield. Probably up B out of shield. Yeah, you're right, actually. You got me. It has multiple hitboxes. <laughs> it's really good on. It's really good against on shield. Shield yeah. damage. Yeah. Multiple Hello. hits. You got an SDI with the shield. Oh, good shine. Okay. Yeah. This is like the prime percentage for a Fox against Puff. One up throw, one up smash. Yeah, not only is he in this prime setup, but he himself has, has kept that third stack so well. Yeah, and that's really important against Puff. Now that it's gone, now the threat of rest is back I mean, on the table. anything could happen now. Yeah. <gasps> oh. That soft nair could have led to more. Nice fall. And okay, is that, that it? Is it. is it really just a run through the middle? It was a good cross up. You always sure. ask your, your partner, were you DI'ing? And Juno says, I was DI'ing. <laughs> and I go, DI up and down doesn't matter, man. <laughs> Yeah, that was really buff. You up through rest and there was no DI. And Fox Pass was like, no, I was DI. Yeah. It was up. <laughs> so the... He di there. So there's three counter picks to this, um, to this matchup. Usually it's either Yoshi's Pokemon or FD. Um, and FD has that obvious advantage in that... No platforms. There's no platforms. Um, that's generally like the new like kind of Puff meta game nowadays. Is that like kind of I know just run just away from her. Run away. Well, for Puff against anybody else, like they really like platforms to like refresh their jumps, you know, because to keep that aerial mobility. Whereas, um, say like 2014, 2015, when Puff used to be um, really grounded. I mean, by, and by Puff, I mean like a lot of the meta was just developed by Hungrybox. So whatever Hungrybox is doing, that was the Puff meta. Um, Great kill on that up throw up air. And so now that they are weaving more in the air. You kind of have more time to react and less mix-ups to deal with. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The platforms add a really good mix-up um, game for Purely Buff. That's not to say, like, Purely Buff can't. Um, it's just a little bit harder now with the platforms. Yeah, Ooh. especially when she gets thrown up like that. She has to find her way down. And without even platforms to do with things like tech chasing or, or up air tech traps. Yeah, yeah. Finding those kills is a little harder in raw neutral. After that last up throw that killed him on the battlefield, um, it's weary. Yeah, but you should be. That's the that's the that's the danger of getting out uh, at the edge. That's the danger of being grabbed near the edge. Right. Yeah. You got you got to fight near the center if you can. 
finds the kill with running up smash, another just advantage of Fox. He right. can just flick the whip. Flick the C-stick. Dude, he's one of the only characters that can just put his body on top of Jigglypuff and get the kill. So right. few characters can actually do that. Or at the very least, like, they need to set up if they're gonna do that. Like, Dude, even the, one of the closest characters is Falcon, and his knee yeah. sweet spot is so small for Jigglypuff. Yeah. So. Famously, if you remember the Big House 3 when uh, Hacks got down throw, down throw to knee, or tried down throw knee, Rebox immediately down B and got rusted out. And then he got Falcon punched, but the yeah. main point of that is that he got rusted out of down throw knee, which is sad, for Hacks. Oh, he almost got that timing trap. Good SDI. You know, behind Lord English behind both these games, but now uh, um, now brought it back both times. Yeah, and it's it's surprising to see Jigglypuff at the advantage on FD. He's managed to, to take it away with that quick edge guard on stock two. Yeah. A lot of honest fighting coming right here, and oh. Fox he finds himself at the edge pretty pretty quickly. I'm always holding my breath because like you know I'm obviously rooting for my friend Fox faster. Yeah, you're both champagne. champagne. Yeah. But something I notice is that even though he does use the laser correctly, sometimes I feel like he runs away from center too far. Nice guard from here. He's doing some full hops. Oh, I tried to catch the landing. Yeah, um, exactly. But falling up here is not going to do it. He's close. Oh, there it is. And he catches the intercept. Yeah. Really well played there. Right. I think I heard Dreamland, but I mean, Dreamland is generally like the deco right. band. I, I see a couple empty setups. I'm going to go ahead and TO a little bit more. Forest, you're on your own. Okay, for sure. Alright, uh, F FOD, probably like the most standard of standard counter picks. See how uh, Lord English adapts after that last game. Oh! I think he re recognized he couldn't go for the rest there and uh, decided not to just go for the percent. That was really smart. Really smart for Lord English there. Force match, maybe trying to catch the landing, but it doesn't get it. I'm going to be joined on the mic with my good friend, Blake Ball, Blunt Tech. Hello, Thomas. All right, what do we got? We got game three, and uh, looking a little scary for the first two games, but Nate's up now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, Puff's always scary, especially against Fox. Oh, yeah. And Lord English is, you know, no slouch for a player. Pretty good. English, pretty good. Um, good bear to catch the left dash. Oh, nice. Didn't think he'd get there, but he got there. You can tell by the way it is. Alright, Nate's gonna wanna get his laser game going here. Um, yeah, doesn't right. wanna get crush cancel grab randomly. Yeah. And Nate's use of the air is really good in most matchups, and he's just gonna try to catch Buff in the air with some type of air. Right. And that's how he's got all this 62 damage. Lord English has been doing pretty well with the SDI and up throw up air. A lot of times he, he's died just because he got caught in the air with like Cotton's movement with an up air that Nate just knows. Oh no. Yeah, I've seen him hit that upwards SDI each time right they should maybe try to mix it up try to get more inside um, or like delay the timing a bit because um, if he's going for that he's not going to get like, the <gasps> oh, jump out. he read the read or roll he read the read <laughs> um, dash when Nate was rolling to the left Nate I mean Foster faster all right can he seal it yep. yeah good. catches the side B he could have maybe tried to go low, but I think Lord English was like covering, like kind of fake covering that, so like he was uh, baited into not going low. Ooh, so, got the spot dodge. Did not go for grab after it though. I think he had frames to grab. Yeah. Instead, Nate gets the grab. Tries to back throw like uh, DI mix up, up throw on the up back throw up air on the. I think top it was left. more like he grabbed, but he was expecting to get grabbed, so he DI. Oh, DI away. away. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I always probably that right back there. throw. Oh, Ooh, almost died there. there. But back throw is also a good option there because he's at the. So, so it might have been intentional. Alright, guess the strong back here, kill. Oh, no jump. Yeah. It was probably correct there to go low, but um, really, yeah. Lord English really good with his coverage. Last dog, this is going to be a tight battle. $200 pop bonus here. This is winner's quarters. Winner of this is going to be uh, in a really good spot for the tourney. Shabo's already in losers using Falco. Um, all right, what can you get off this? Good percentage up throw up air. How do you get rested under game one? Was it up throw rest? It's just up throw rest. All right, less likely here, but uh. Oh, it tries to catch him drifting in with the up smash. There he is. And he gets that. All right, me versus unsure now. 